Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtu Toy Channel. Okay, uh, yep, there will be a little bit of noise in the background uh, because there's actually a, a events going on in uh, MCOM Mall where the office is. Uh, hope you don't mind it because I want to very quickly show you um, recent release from one model, the S2000, and also a couple of S2000s that I have not shown you before. I actually have them already, but uh, yeah. I haven't got a chance to, to share with you guys. So I do have the pop race ones here. And then this one is the other one. Um, one model is gonna make, um, but I don't think they, they it's out yet. Okay, so this is from the other company, okay? All right, so one model, this one would be the latest uh, S2000, um, the one in white, okay? And uh, it's pretty crazy. Uh, I can't, okay, I can't recall this one's, what was it called? S2000 Type RR, I think. Because this is actually built uh, by the top fuel um, team, Garage. I don't think it's team. I think I think the better name is Garage, right? Top fuel Garage. And then um, basically every year, right, uh, uh, Rev Magazine magazine actually um, runs an event. Um, basically, it's not really time attack. It's a uh, it's a uh, it's a, a racing event where. Um, yeah, they're more focused on, on collecting data, um, fine-tuning their cars, and, and you know, uh, they'll see who's the fu kind, they, they'll take their time, um, their t uh, timed lap uh, in the uh, Su Subaka circuit, I think I, I don't know if I got the name right, okay, so yeah, I, I kind of did my homework in a hurry, so <laughs> hope you don't mind. And uh, because uh, the next couple of days, I will be a little bit busy with other stuff as well. So that's why I just did a very quick homework on this, a very quick research on this, and then ah, camera on. Okay, and even, yeah, even with the background noise, I decided to just proceed. Okay, so now you can see out of the box, right? It's pretty crazy, okay? Uh, I, I'm not sure if this is maybe the first one model that I've covered. Um, in my channel, the only other one model that I collect in my uh, that I have in my collection right, is the FD, the Mugen F, uh, FD Civic uh, RR. Um, that's the only one that I have that I, I really like as well. So this would be my second one model. Um, so this one comes in a very prim in, in a premium uh, display case. I remember the one model is similar like that as well. Now the challenge about this right is, I believe that it's really very loose the cover and the base. So once you take the sticker out, right, I think, uh, yeah, it will just come right off. So, and and the thing about these stickers is it's a single, uh, I would call it a single use sticker. So once you remove it, right, then um, uh, you, you, yeah, you can't really reuse it, okay? So, and uh, usually I understand these manufacturers, right, they use this sticker to, to hold the, uh, to basically seal and also to hold the, the cover in place so yeah this time I have to open both sides okay hang on it does feel a little tight just now ah okay at least that's at least it's a little tight okay then I don't have to worry because how this how this uh, case stores into the box right it's yeah being lifted like that so if it's not tight then yeah how, how are we gonna re remove it right okay there we go yep it's a little bit tight which I quite like I quite like Okay, so this is actually by Top Fuel. Oh, hang on. Um, hang on just one second. I try to switch on one additional light so that it'll be even brighter. Okay, all right. So let me just zoom in to focus. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, this is pretty crazy. This is pretty crazy. So this one also, I understand that it was auctioned off in uh, 2021, I think. Um, it was tuned by, we have the driver's name here, uh, Nope, uh, Tani Gucci, yep, okay, that's the name of the driver, and also he, he's the main, one of the main guys to help tune this S2000 to what it is, um, and, uh, there's no additional information that I see, who was it sold to, who are the new owners, and, you know, if they are gonna race it again, yeah, unfortunately, but look at the amount of details on this S2000. So basically, it's based on a real thing. Um, when it's auctioned off, right, I do recall there are more um, parts, bits and parts on the real car here. Okay, so on this model, uh, on this 64 scale, no, it doesn't have that. Um, it, it, it looks really even more aggressive in, in, uh, the, in, the last, in its last form um, before it was being auctioned off. Okay, all 
right so from the front view look at that beautiful just really crazy should i open it up i think i should right so the first question that, that i had right uh, because we know that this is a, a quite an iconic s2000 um then the question would be you know uh how does it compare to to the other one what's what's the other story what's the story with the other one right the one at the back that we've seen our uh, initial model has done it as well oh okay this is a resin model and it's a single screw interesting i i don't recall I can't recall right now uh, the the Civic Mugen is it single screw or double screw because that was really many many years ago I think maybe three or four years ago even okay I'm gonna ooh, ooh, ooh. okay okay I'm just a little afraid that we just slip right off my hands okay ah oh, got it out got it out okay he has that cradle thing oh no. Why is it stuck? Why is it stuck on there? Hang on. Oh no, it's stuck. So yeah, the the I don't recall if the Civic has single or double screw. Okay, I'm still struggling with it. I'm still struggling with it. And I'm always because it's so light, it does feel like it's very fragile. But uh, I think over the years, right? Um, they have they have improved a lot it's not as fragile as as we, uh, we think it is i kind of dropped uh after after recording a video yesterday right i kind of i kind of lost balance and dropped this um on the table okay just dropped it on the table from the base and uh no scratches no loose part uh side mirrors are still intact so i think this is, this is timothy and pierre by the way um so yeah uh i think they are not as um soft as they used to they are a little bit more uh hardened i guess okay because you it used to be you know those especially the spoiler at the back just a simple touch right and then it would just uh crumble so that's that's the old that's the old resin right okay so the newer resin ones are much better i guess okay so we're gonna we're gonna go through the, the car again right so yep most of the uh, decals, right, are really very, very similar to, uh, not similar. It's basically a replica of the real thing. Really, very close. Um, yeah, you can see the you can see the huge intake here. Look at that. Look at that. It has that details. A little bit of engine detail. Um, just a little bit of that. Is it engine detail? No, it's just a tray actually. It's just a tray down there. Uh, silver color tray I thought it's engine detail I don't see much engine detail it's a tray um, yeah I I I remember seeing photos of the hood lifted up but I don't recall the details in it I don't recall it being like a tray like that inside okay still I do quite like they have done all the details the the, the hook as well at the back as well okay hard top all right, and then you see how it leaves uh, fingerprints on the paint. I've just talked about it recently. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this one will leave uh, fingerprint on a black spot, and I believe um, it will leave fingerprint on the white as well. It's just that it's not so obvious. But look at that white paint on this solid white metallic. How, look how it reflects lights. Damn. Uh, this brake details, there's some, um, oh, okay, we can see a little bit of the caliper detail as well on both sides. Uh, it looks like it's Brembo, but um, if I recall correctly, what I read, it's endless. So, uh, okay, correct me, correct me. If, if, you do more, if you do know more accurate details on this car, right, you can, uh, uh, you know, please let me know in the comment section below. That would be great. Okay, look at the back. Look at that crazy, crazy diffuser at the back. Oh man, look at that. So from what I read as well, uh, basically the uh, can I call the king, the king of the uh, the, the Super Cup, the Rev Magazine um, um, event, right? It's actually uh, the RX Seven. Um, there is RX Seven where it's still one of the fastest around that that circuit for that event. Now this car holds a uh, three track. Uh, lab records actually um, Suzuka in its class okay we're talking in its class uh, the Suzuka 
the Otopolis and one more I can't recall all three of them in in Japan okay so this car actually do hold uh, lap records for its class oh man look at look at the front lip that's pretty crazy man that's pretty nuts and a huge ass wing at the, at the back that's crazy so the the arrow is actually developed by Voltax okay that's why you see the Voltax uh, brand name there okay so speaking about Voltax right um, I do have these two uh, S2000s from Pop Race okay in Voltax body kit as well now these were actually released huh when was this I think some time ago actually and only now I realized oh wait I have not done a first look video on these actually so these are, uh, are, are uh, S2000s with a uh, Voltax body kit okay with the front and the, and the back diffuser as well and the Voltax uh, GT wing so in its packaging right it comes hard top or soft top uh, the hard top is actually a separate piece okay where is mine I thought I took one out <laughs> so that I can show you guys no, I don't know what. Oh, okay, okay, there, there, here, here, here. So this is the blue. There, it comes like that. Okay, it comes like that. Pop race. Okay, it gives you, it gives you. Oh, sorry. It gives you that separate. Uh, that that's the that's the hard top. Okay, it gives you the separate piece, hard top. Otherwise, this would be the soft top. Okay, that you can remove this part, right? This part is actually removable. Um, this part is to. Yeah, when it's empty, it's, it, it's going to look a little bit funny, right? So this is actually to replicate when the soft top is uh, kept, when it's folded down. So that's how it's going to look like. Okay, and I just <laughs> realized one of my figures just fell off and I'm knocking off stuff. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there. And I'm going to put this figure aside because it feels very weird. She's lying down there, right? So it comes with two colors. Uh, this was a Hong Kong Toy Soul um, exclusive model, I think. 20 year 2020 uh year 2020 late 2021 i think i think right so this was many months ago so in that orange and in the blue okay so i'll just remove the hot top right there there we go so you can do it as a uh, uh open top or hot top okay all right so this one fits rather well uh though because the previous s2000 that i did cover in on my channel right would be the um, wildfire s2000 now that one the hard top don't work at all um yeah because when we install it right this one looks all right still looks okay in with the wildfire it didn't work at all so yeah very nice so this one has that aftermarket okay i'm because uh, i can't hold the top of the car <laughs> feels very strange okay so this one has the aftermarket uh s2000 brake lights which I quite like which I quite like the original ones are, are also very nice but I do quite like this aftermarket version blue calipers uh, same for both okay same for both and uh, no it actually it doesn't it doesn't come out it doesn't come with a number plate so this one was something that we installed okay this is something that we installed so if you if you're looking for plates like this it is available through collector's cube yeah quick shout out to collector's cube over on Facebook uh, they are the guys that handles all my um, if I have any additional stocks right I do have extras of these and also the the one model version um, I do ha have extra so yeah you can look them up if you are interested and they ship international as well um, on Facebook okay collectors cube that's Q U B E okay in the meantime do help me hit that like button because that will help me out in the YouTube algorithms so that's the pop race the and the one model now we look at this one right so this is also a model um, that one model will be making. Um, I, I don't think it's released yet um, when I'm recording this, this video. Jay's Racing. So it's very different. The white and uh, the white version. Let me just park it the other side, right? We're going we're gonna to talk about the white one. Nope's uh, S2000 versus uh, this one would be... Um, this is purely for the Toge. Uh, mountain roads in Japan so this was actually one of the um, this is actually the record holder for quite a long while uh, Jay's racing so he developed uh, this car to actually attack the mountain roads uh, in, in, in Japan and um, only I think only recently it hits its record was um, to, uh, 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 one up by uh, RX-7 okay 
So this one is actually pretty crazy. Um, this was this was actually made by LKM, and uh, I don't think it's licensed. Okay, All right. So yeah, this one, it it has went through quite a few developments. So this would be the open top version with the roll cage. Uh, if you look them up, right, they already have. I think the more recent photo, right, it will be a hard top with uh, Mugen's, uh, developed by Mugen, um, the hard top. Okay, okay. So this would be Jay's Racing version. So it's very different. Not as crazy, not as crazy, because this would be a pure circuit uh, car. This one, we can almost still call it <laughs> the road, a normal road car, right? Because it goes on mountain roads. Okay, so two different thing but still on uh, using a very um, legendary S2000 platform oh um, yeah this one is actually this this runs on a F20C uh, the very famous S2000 um, engine okay and this one is actually the updated version of the engine uh, runs on a F22C and I I believe they whacked they smacked in a huge ass turbo I can't recall what turbo is, is, is in there and the other thing about this one is they managed to push. They pump. They managed to pump up um, close to one thousand horsepower on this on this S two thousand. Okay, on that F twenty two C engine. That's pretty nuts. That is pretty nuts. Okay, so this one's still running on the F twenty C. Ah, very very iconic. Very very iconic S two thousands. Cool. Oh, man, noise. Nice, very nice to see uh, S two thousands in resin, very high detail. Okay, so uh, I think that's it for this time around. Um, oh, glad I managed to cover the pop race S two thousand this time too. So uh, that's it for this time around. Um, remember to look us up on um, Facebook, Collectors Cube. Let's QBE. Help me hit the like button. Help me hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that I don't miss on any of my other diecast videos. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.